Okay, so here I am at the top of um, HS2's new Road to Nowhere. Um, just going to give you an idea of the scale of what has been done here so far. All these piles of spoil. Right, I'm facing that way, I'm facing up towards Potter's Row. Okay, so there we go. There's a the footpath over there that we came in on, goes into that field just there. And here we have the new road. So I'm going to walk as far as I dare, just so as to give everyone an idea of how long this road is. Um, so I think the um, route is proposed to be to the south of these pylons here, so we're right next to it, ground zero. Uh, here we go. Uh, don't worry, that's not any of them. Another oak tree over there. Another oak tree there right in their way, another beautiful oak tree there and there and there's a forest with lots of beech and birch and oaks and I saw quite a number of different trees in there actually, chestnut uh, anyway uh, back to the job in hand, this is this is what is being taken by HS2, look at that view I mean from up here, absolutely perfect, just to spoil by this lot and don't forget everyone over there can see this so you're going to see for the next 10 years uh, here we are uh, boards just left there trees just left to rock tree stumps more tree cutting up there uh, okay so here we go keep walking down the road And now I'm pointing towards Great Missenden. Uh, so, here we go. I don't walk too far. Escape lane. So, yeah, quite a hill here. I guess if a lorry loses its brakes and rolls down that hill, they'd really be in trouble. Anyway. You can see another corner over there. Uh, again, more mature woodland there. Uh, I'm going to jump over the ditch here and go up the hill. I'll just go up this bank so we can get a better idea and I don't have to take too much of a risk either. So I've been walking for three minutes already, just to give you an idea of the length of the road. And the views. So, yeah, all of this has been dug out of this beautiful countryside, out of these hills, the sheep over there. Got the A413 down there. Uh, not a massive road, but it's busy, especially in the rush hour. Uh, it gets jammed up down there on a regular basis. I've spotted this over the last three weeks. 24 days I've been camping around here now. Uh, so, beautiful sycamore. Uh, so, well. There we go, four minutes I've been walking now. Fantastic countryside around here. Um, I'm going to get down to the end of this row of cones, row of barrier. And, uh, yeah, more, more raped woodland there. Uh, a little pile of it. And uh, yeah, pretty um, extensive work for this. This is look at the size of these trees, massive uh, 60 70 foot, some of them. Uh, I've seen a red kite since I've been up here, I've seen um, some, some other raptor, I'm not sure. I've heard buzzards while I've been here. 
Here we are, you can see right down the bottom there through that gap. That's the bottom of these workings. Now just to give you an idea of the extent, and it's only just begun. Uh, you have no idea what's coming to this place. Uh, forget League of Gentlemen of a new road. This is massive. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, wow. So, yeah. And, uh, there we go, that's their workings down there. I took some photos from the way up here with the cabins and that. Um, let's see, can I zoom in a bit closer? There we go. It's on full zoom. So, and it still looks miles and miles away. Uh, huh. I could see me house from here almost. Uh, certainly see one of the banners. Uh, okay, six minutes. Bye for now, folks.